Hello everybody, so now I'm going to be giving Adaware uh, Free Edition a run through. Uh, Adaware Free Edition is the worst. It's 80 megabytes for just the free version. That might give you an idea of the bloat. It also uses old technology. It doesn't have the best detection rates, but I'm trying it anyway. More because I get to try to get this machine back into normal mode by myself because Adware will not install in safe mode. So, I'm going to use this handy USB disk because I don't feel like messing around with anything. So we get that connected. Start computer. Let's just wait for it to show up here. There we go. And so... Let's take a look here. We're going to run OTS again. And the reason I'm doing this is because I need to check for patched files. Um, because those are going to be the bane of the existence of restoring a system. I updated my little custom scan so it's more inclusive. So I get to check more files. And, uh, let's see. So we're going to run a scan here. And so it's going to process this stuff, and I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, the scan is complete here. I'm going to punch this into OTA. We're going to see what we uh, get a look at here. Let's see... OTA, and we'll punch this in and hit process. The first thing I'm going to check to take a look at is, uh, well, you can see all these files here are not, are not legitimate. So the ultimate data streams have to go. Um, let's see, this is what I'm interested in. This here is going to have me check the MD5 of these files, and I have to check to see if they're all the same because if they're two different ones that means that one is patched and one is not and I have to restore from the one that isn't alright so right here this is broken this is a cab file and this is the actual MD5 so that needs to be restored Yep. So I'm going to work on this, and I'll be right back. I'm going to create a fix using uh, uh, OTS, and we're going to see if we can get this computer back up and running. All right, everybody, I've created some fixes. We're going to use a special tool called the Avenger to perform the fix. Uh, the Avenger is basically an ultra-powerful removal tool. So right here I have a file that I have my fix created in. And we're going to open up Avenger here. And we're going to put in our script. Avenger is a pretty dangerous tool because it will delete anything you tell it to. Uh, we'll tell it to automatically disable any rootkits found. And we'll put the script in. It's a huge script because there were a ton of junk files on here. And uh, we're going to go and execute that. Yes. Yes. So now the Avenger is going to reboot. And it is going to go ahead and hopefully nuke those infections. I'm going to pause this video, and I'll be back in a second. All right, uh, the Avenger has avenged, and the system boots up just fine. Uh, if we look at uh, local disk, Avenger creates a folder here, and you can see the stuff it removed uh, being some nasty stuff. But the other thing you'll notice is that there's plenty for adware still to, adware still to go at, because you see all this stuff here. So that stuff wasn't picked up by the log, or I somehow missed checking it. So now we're going to go ahead and install AdAware, and we are going to give it a go. 
Uh, let me get a USB disk, and here we go. So I'm going to install this because it's such a big package, it takes forever and ever. So I'm going to install this and be right back when it's done. The other thing is, even for the free version of AdAware, they make you restart, which is like a, a complete ripoff to me, but we're going to go ahead and do it. I'll see you then. Okay, uh, computer is booting back up here. Adware has popped up. It says manage license. Uh, close. Okay. So, it already updated. Um, we're just going to take a look at extras. Track sweep. No, I don't care about that. So, let's see. What is this ultra heavy program that does... Well, it's just an ultra-heavy program. It takes twice as long as any program in its right mind to load up does. But we're going to give a scan with it anyway. Scan. Uh, full scan. We're going to give it a go and see what happens. Alright, I'll be right back when this is completely done. This is an interesting little notice that popped up. Uh, scan isn't done, though. But uh, Haiti Earthquake Relief. If you purchase... Adware Plus, Adware LavaSoft will send $10 to Red Cross for Haiti Emergency Recovery Aid. That's kind of interesting. It's not It's not a bad concept, although I don't think anybody should buy Adware Plus. I'll be right back. Alright, it found, um... It found some things, but it also wants me to join the LavaSoft Threat Work Alliance. Uh, no thanks. Not right now. So a high-level security threat was detected and removed. We recommend you restart your computer to ensure that all traces of the malware are completely removed. Uh, whatever. So we have documents and settings, uh, PHP file, um, uh, nothing active there. Mm. This one's might be active. That, I don't know. Uh, this one... All this stuff is in the recycler. Um, maybe. That looks like something from one of the tools I ran. Uh, some of this stuff might be. But it... I mean, yeah, it found some stuff. But a lot of it wasn't anything that would cause problems. I really nuked a lot of the stuff with... um. I really nuked a lot of the stuff with the Avenger, so there wasn't much left. So, we're going to give this a restart. And then I'm going to run Combo Fix. So, I'll be right back. So, one thing that I just missed was Avast has a... I mean, Avast. Yeah, Adware has a boot cleaner that it utilized to delete some of those files. Which was kind of interesting, because that's something that really only Avast has used. Uh, actively. So I'm going to pause this and run Combo Fix and show you the log when it gets back. One thing I want to point out about Combo Fix is Combo Fix is not something you want to use in an on demand scanner. You only want to use Combo Fix when your system is infected uh, because it can do damage otherwise. The other thing about Combo Fix is that it, uh, to update it, you have to download a new version every time. And, um, that's something to be aware of. You can't just keep running the same combo fix because it doesn't connect to the internet and update. And then, to uninstall combo fix, which is something that's absolutely recommended after you clean your computer, you go start, run, and then a run box, you type in combo fix, space, slash, uninstall. So, that's how you uninstall combo fix. I'm gonna pause this and be back with the log. Alright everybody, ComboFix found a ton of stuff. The system is not clean yet, there's still junk on the system, some malware running and everything. But, Adware is not the best. Um, it didn't remove much at all. And ComboFix removed a ton, and Avenger removed a ton, but Adware didn't remove much, at least not much that made a difference. Thanks for watching everybody, I think I'm going to try A squared free next.